What's up everybody, Let's Talk Jets Radio, quick reaction video like I promised. Still got the Wilson headband on, we're still rocking it anytime, anywhere, any place. Trying to embrace him as my quarterback, like I said, you know, he wasn't the guy I wanted, but I think every Jet fan's in the same boat at this point. We want to see the team win. Uh, we think that he does have some talent, quick release, good arm talent. So as long as you can coach him upright, there's no reason that you can't win with this kid. So I think that's kind of where I'm at. Um, you know, as far as playing the game of evaluating him versus Trey Lance and Fields and Darnold, uh, that's not something I want to do every year. Um, it's not something that the kid deserves. I think more so for the general manager and evaluating, um, you know, his decision there, sticking at two, not trading down, um, you know, not sticking with Sam and everything else. I think from that perspective, you can evaluate it to a certain degree. Uh, but otherwise, I'm trusting in Joe Douglas. I'm trusting in his vision. I'm trusting in Sala and the coaching staff here. Uh, I think they're going to get it right. And the trade up at, uh, you know, from 23 to 14, I think that was a solid move. Uh, it, it sucks to lose the two third round picks, but you did get a fourth round pick back. And ultimately, if you have some conviction and you move up and you get your guy, uh, you know, Elijah Vera Tucker, a lot of scouts had him as the, the best guard in the draft. We knew offensive line was a, a desperate need coming into the draft because we didn't address it in free agency. So the fact that you only gave up uh, two third round picks and you got a fourth back, I don't think the compensation was crazy there. Now you look to pick 34. I, I think all options are on the table. I mean, the draft is still going on right now. We're at pick tw uh, 24. Uh, certainly, you can move up into the first round. You know, we had a, a few people mention in the chat. Uh, if you do get back into the first round, you do have the fifth-year option available on the player that you take. Um, you know, some guys like Creed Humphrey, Tevin Jenkins. Um, I, I would still personally wait on a running back like Travis Etienne. Uh, but now without the two third-round picks, you wonder where a running back might fit into the mix there. Uh, Rashad Bateman, I think, is still on the board unless he's about to go with the Steelers pick here. Uh, so a lot of things to weigh. I think the Jets are ultimately going to you know, weigh their board. And you know, if they have a first-round talent that slips to them at 34, they probably stay put. Um, you wonder you know, at what point do they maybe consider trying to move up again with all the picks that they do have, and they still have a lot. You can certainly afford to do it. You can trade up you know, with some of your picks from next year, or you can certainly trade down. You, know, you have the gap from 34 until the fourth round where you're not picking. Uh, so certainly if you could recoup you know, one of those third-round picks, I think that would make a lot of sense too. So I think all options are on the table. Uh, but for now, I'm enjoying the draft. It's a new era of football. I'm getting behind Wilson. I hope he's the guy. Build that line around him. Let's not have the same questions that we had after year three of Sam. So appreciate everybody that tuned in for the live stream tonight. We'll be back live tomorrow. Stay tuned for Tyson. He'll do a video talking about the uh, shirts and the contest we're going to do. So have a good night. I'm tired. Appreciate everybody again. Talk to you tomorrow.